I swim the big sadness as if I had never swum before. I learn to breathe deep after each wave and before. There is no sign of crossing. Where is the other side? Just because you cannot see something does not mean you should not try to believe it. I believe in the invisible. It fills my chest with air, with sadness, with what is gone, with what is still there, with what is left, before and after. And between them a cleft, a wall of nothing, an infinite depth, a complete surrender to what may never resurrect again. There's that word again, again. And again, and again, but where, and how, and when, and when will again come again, if ever. No amens. It's all in the moment. It's all in the head. The shark thoughts circling sharp teeth of dread. How long will I circle? How long will I tread? Are my tears blood yet? Is the water red? If I believe in the wrong truth, what will happen instead of what I pray? I pray for an end to the night. I pray to sleep in the light, to sleep all day, to wake up somewhere I am loved and held and as safe as you say. Ride the tsunami after the quake. Swim beyond forever to where the water finally breaks and crashes into tears. My tears are not fire or blood. My tears are ashes. My past holds the flood back from my eyelashes. I finally arrive wet, blue, black, to the comfort of mud, dirt, earth, stone. My heart beats, my feet stand. I see my lonely hand and its twin wave goodbye to what has been as I climb above this beach where life erodes below, beneath a sky I cannot reach. What have I learned? What can I teach? Is the lesson in the suffering or is it in the relief? It is in the journey. It is in the grief. It is in the truth too large to speak, too strange to own. The truth that we travel together, we travel alone.